IVF isn't the right option to lead a safe pregnancy? Is it so? क्या ऐसा होता है? Uh, Karina, like I have told uh, all couples who uh, you know seek conception with me, uh, there is nothing artificial about IVF. Okay, initially it used to be known as artificial reproductive techniques, but very soon it was recoined as assisted reproductive techniques for the simple reason that we are just assisting the couple who is not being able to conceive uh, to. uh get a pregnancy and hopefully to get a healthy baby right so you have to understand that there is nothing abnormal there's nothing artificial and hence is completely safe so there it isn't that you know there is something not safe about this procedure also uh something that i would like to uh emphasize on and uh you know something that i say over and over again is that once you conceive using uh the help of assisted reproductive techniques uh you are like any other pregnant woman who has conceived spontaneously at home so there is nothing different in your pregnancy you may need some extra medication to support your pregnancy that also for a few months but beyond that everything is as it should be there is nothing different so uh, the the question of it being not safe is completely eliminated you know and this technology like you mentioned has been here since eons now and you know there has been enough and more study on the safety data and the safety profile of uh, this technology uh, so um, i hope we debunk this myth of it not being safe exactly uh, now the second myth that come of after pregnancy and ha- having it as a safe pregnancy is that ivf leads to twin triplets and more is it so uh karina honestly speaking when this technology was uh, you know being introduced to the world and uh, initially when doctors started practicing assisted reproductive technology uh they were still kind of in the process of fine tuning their procedures their processes their laboratory etc uh so they used to transform more than one embryo to kind of uh, achieve a pregnancy right um that's when it used to lead to uh, triplets quadruplets etc what happened is that as this technology grew as there were advances in this technology as the doctors got more confident in their procedures in their laboratories as we uh, kind of grew in this field um uh, the number of embryos being transferred inside a u uh, uh, inside a woman's uterus kind of decreased so we moved from four embryos to three embryos to two embryos and now we are in a, a era where we are transferring just a single embryo so we promote single embryo transfer this is the future of assisted reproduction where we aim to give a single healthy life a uh, baby to the couple uh, without any complications because as we all know uh, multiple pregnancies come with its own set of complications right so uh, even as uh, a community uh, fertility consultants are working towards decreasing the uh, complications that are associated with multiple pregnancy and we are also promoting and supporting a uh, single embryo transfer where the chances of multiple pregnancy is uh, kind of eliminated and uh, we are working towards uh, a single live intrauterine healthy pregnancy yes when we talk about babies uh, doctor it is often comes a da- a question a myth it comes that ivf treatments only work for young female is it so ki is it limited to only young females Uh, no in fact uh, a lot of uh, women who walk into an ivf center uh, it there have been enough and more studies uh, that uh, you know we get women in the higher age bracket okay so uh, of course ivf is working for them uh, assisted reproductive techniques are working for them and that is the reason that they are seeking the pregnancies and um, uh, when we are doing ivf with their own eggs um uh, then in an advanced maternal age of course the chances of getting a pregnancy or a success rate is on a lower side compared to women who are younger right so you have to understand that when we are doing in any 
technique uh, on a younger woman, the chances of conception is definitely higher. The success rate is higher. And uh, if you're doing it on a woman uh, with advanced maternal age, the chances kind of decrease a little. But it is not so that we cannot attempt an IVF or we can't do IVF or we cannot do assisted reproductive techniques on women who are of an advanced stage. All the IVF deliveries are done through C-section. Uh, बहुत बार सुनने को ये मिलता है कि लोगों मन में ये क्वेरी होती है कि इज द आई डिलीवरी जो होती है वो सी सेक्शन के थ्रू ही होती है इज इट सो कांट इट बी नॉर्मल वन सो करीना लाइक आई सेड इन द बिगिनिंग आल्सो दैट वंस यू कैन सीव यूजिंग द हेल्प ऑफ असिस्टेड रिप्रोडक्टिव टेक्निक यू आर लाइक एनी अदर वुमेन हु मस्ट हैव कंसीव्ड एट होम स्पॉन्टेनियसली राइट सो इफ इफ दे कैन हैव अ नॉर्मल डिलीवरी or a c section you can have a normal delivery or a c section the, uh, if in your pregnancy there are complications and you know if any other uh, woman who would have conceived at home also would have to need a cesarean section because of those reasons then of course you would be a candidate for c section but just because of the you know the fact that you have conceived using uh, assisted reproductive techniques doesn't make you a candidate for a c section Doctor, one more myth we have is that IVF lower down the stock of menstrual ovaries. I IVF जो है वो menstrual ovaries का जो stock है वो lower down कर देता है क्या ऐसा होता है? So uh, uh, ये जो चीज़ है ना मैं अपने uh, uh, जो couples who seek conception with me उसको उनको बहुत अच्छे से there's a very good uh, example that I give to kind of make them understand is that uh, you have a bank. okay in the bank there is certain amount of money which is deposited and you can make and you have to understand that this bank you can only make withdrawals you cannot make deposits okay so suppose if you have 1 lakh rupees in your bank you can make withdrawals of 10 rupees every month and you can spend just 1 rupee okay that is how ovulation takes place so ovary ovarian reserve hota hai that is your bank your withdrawals is what your ovary withdraws every month and that is known as antral follicle count and ovulation happens only of one egg so that is your expenditure when we do ivf or when we do assisted reproductive techniques we don't want to target the one rupee because wo bahut kam hai na so we don't target the withdrawals we cannot target the bank kyunki wo bank inaccessible hai hame we target the withdrawals hum withdrawals ko uh, target karte hain to any which ways aapka एक रुपया ही खर्च होने वाला था और वो नौ रुपए वेस्ट होने वाले थे वो नौ रुपए हम वेस्ट नहीं होने देते हैं वो नौ रुपए भी हम यूज कर लेते हैं तो द थिंग इज कि आपकी ओवरी वैसे भी वो नाइन फॉलिकल्स दिस इज जस्ट हाइपोथेटिकल फिगर्स दैट आई एम गिविंग यू वो नाइन फॉलिकल्स वैसे भी डिस्ट्रॉय होने वाले थे हम उनको डिस्ट्रॉय नहीं होने देते उनको यूज कर लेते हैं सो बेसिकली वी आर नॉट टचिंग योर वेर इन रिजर्व एट ऑल सो वी आर नॉट एग्जॉस्टिंग योर रिजर्व वी आर नॉट pushing you towards menopause we are not doing any of those such things what we are doing is what your ovary is already withdrawing and is already going to either use or discard is something that we are using so by doing ivf or assisted reproductive techniques you are not hampering your ovarian reserve at all uh thank you explaining this so beautifully and so in simple manner and like doctor lastly i would like to ask that ivf pregnancy so result in abnormalities in the bone baby kafi bar ek query aati hai ki jo ivf pregnancy hoti hai ek log abnormalities mein result karti hai bone baby ki aisa kuch hota hai people have these thoughts in mind so karina you need to understand that this technology has been here since such a long time right there have been uh kids which have been born maybe are contemporaries who are born with ivf right they they are leading an absolute normal life you aren't seeing a rise of abnormal but uh, people around you right so that in itself is the biggest proof that ivf does not lead to per se abnormal babies because if that was so we would not be even allowed to practice this technology nobody would want an increase in abnormal babies in the world right so uh that in itself addresses this question that no uh, you know if you are uh seeking to conceive with the help of assisted reproductive techniques it does not lead to abnormal babies 
by the virtue of doing this technology. If there is a genetic abnormality which is present in the lineage of the mother or the father, or you know they have a family history of trisomies or um, you know anything else, then of course that could have been a, a case. Uh, even if they spontaneously conceived at home. So if we have to understand that we're using their own genetic material most of the times. So that is uh, something that we need to debunk here that uh, no, it does not lead to abnormal behavior.